from the Cruise Radio Studio in Jacksonville, Florida. This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your Cruise News for Friday, March 1st. We made it. Well, the Sun Princess, Princess Cruises' latest ship, is now sailing its maiden voyage in Europe, marking the launch of an all-new class of ship for the cruise line, the 177,800 gross registered ton ship accommodates 4,300 guests and is currently on its very first sailing, a 10-day Grand Mediterranean cruise from Rome. The Sun Princess has all new venues like the Dome, the Sphere Atrium, as shown here, and features 30 unique dining venues and bars, including collaborations with celebrity chefs and the Hollywood-based Magic Castle, which is very cool, by the way. The ship will sail Europe until the fall and then reposition to Florida. Congratulations, Princess. And Royal Caribbean is introducing a third traditional dining option for passengers who prefer set dining times without constraints. Now, this is according to an article by Matt Hotchberg from the Royal Caribbean blog. The new dining time fits in between the 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. seatings, with the start times varying between 6.45 and 7.30 depending on the ship and the itinerary, currently being piloted on Wonder of the Seas and the brand new Icon of the Seas, Royal Caribbean is now extending this dining option across its fleet, gradually implementing it on each ship. And then a surprise by Virgin Voyages and Delta Airlines, over 160 passengers on a Delta flight from Atlanta to San Juan were greeted by Virgin Group's founder, Sir Richard Branson, who boarded the plane to personally announce a special gift. Well, that gift, to celebrate the upcoming launch of Resilient Lady in Puerto Rico, each passenger was gifted a free cruise during the ship's inaugural season in San Juan later this year. Branson said, we look forward to showing everyone what it's like to set sail the Virgin Way. And the photo of the week comes from Scott. It is of Liberty of the Seas and Allure of the Seas docked together here in Perfect Day. If you have a photo, you can send it in. Doug at cruiseradio.net. All photos are subject to broadcast. And cruise line stocks were up on Thursday. Carnival Corporation of 2.5%, 15.86. Royal Caribbean up 1%, 123.35. And Norwegian up 3.7%, 1939 If you have a story, drop us a line. Tips at cruiseradio.net. And if you're running the Gate River Run this weekend... Good luck to you. Have yourself a great weekend. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today.